Hi guys, I'm Tommy and I'm Peter. Welcome back to our channel. So, we're just getting ready to go to our country house and we are really excited because look what we've got. Us. <laughs> Except us. A metal detector. So now we can finally search for my lost wedding ring. Yay! It's been a while since I lost it, as you saw on the previous videos. And now that we finally have the metal detector, we can go and spend the weekend at our field <laughs> searching meter by meter, or centimeter by centimeter. Yes. So fingers crossed and wish us luck. Hopefully we'll find it. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. I don't want to pay for a new one. <laughs> Before we go to our country house, we have to first uh, top up the antifreeze cooling liquid or whatever it's called correctly. Because when we visited my father last time to exchange the tires, he was checking all the liquids and we found out that it's below the minimum threshold. So, yeah. Let's do it. I think it should be here, <laughs> under this part. I've never opened it before. Need a special sc screwdriver for it, so let's see. <laughs> Ooh. Is it supposed to hold them? No. There is a thingy. thingy? Yeah. Thingy? That thingy. Ooh, you're such a professional. So macho. <laughs> macho oh, Tommy. I think this one. This one, right? Yeah, no, the white this. one. This? No. This? Yeah. Wow. I didn't expect that we will put the whole thing there. And now it looks right. Yeah. Pink liquid and it's between min and max. Yeah. I thought this would, this would last forever, but no, <laughs> it's a one-time thing. That's why it wasn't that expensive. Yeah. And one more thing before we go, we have to check if the tires are tightened enough. Put everything you've got into it. Yeah. <laughs> I am, but it looks good. <laughs> okay. I think we are good. Yeah. It won't budge? No. Oh, nothing. Okay, let's check all of them, just in case. No movement whatsoever. it won't be that easy as we expected because the range of this thing is not that big like here is my ring yeah. here it, it's not able to detect it anymore so yeah and this these are ideal conditions but on the enormous field with wheat here it will be much harder guys the metal detector using it is so much harder than we thought it's making sounds everywhere <laughs> I put my ring here on the ground. Yeah. This is where there's not, nothing is here, but it's making sound anyway. And, and then this is what we want to hear. I 
spent a few hours today searching for the ring with the metal detector that we rented, but it's much harder than we thought. Um, well, as you can see around me, the, the grass is very tall by now. Uh, we didn't come with that. And uh, when you put the metal detector inside the grass, there's a lot of interference uh, and it beeps all the time. It sounds like there's a ring on each step. So that's why I just spent some time mowing the grass. And now I'm going to search again and hopefully it will be easier. It's much better now, no interference. Except this one. <laughs> That's not the sound we are uh, looking for. What happened here? I just dug up this almond tree because it seems dead. And we're gonna try to save it during the night. We're gonna put it into water for at least 24 hours. Cut the roots shorter and maybe it will come to life. I doubt it, but it's worth a try. Yeah, definitely. We've got a new compost bin, which we received from our village to support people to compost at home. So we will now go and put it together. So the composter is almost finished, we just need to figure out the details, but it's almost done. So it's basically done, uh, we just realized that we didn't uh, put it in a regular form, so the top doesn't match exactly, but that's fine, we can change it. Yep, it's done. Try to open it. Oh, nice. We can compost until forever. Until the end of time. <laughs> uh, I was looking for some productive things to do and I found uh, that this fence was almost completely destroyed. It was lying on the ground and I wanted to do something with it. Uh, we had this hand drill, so I drilled a hole into the ground. Then I found this iron pole and I hammered it into the hole. And yeah, then I wired the fence to it. And I know it looks terrible, but it's only a temporary solution, better than nothing. Another fence thing. Uh, so we already mentioned in one of our previous videos that the contractor that did this fence was really terrible. Uh, 
it's fairly done, but uh, they didn't wire the fence, the actual fence, uh, to this main wire that goes all the way through the fence. So we bought a special wire for it and I wired every part of the fence to this main wire. Wires everywhere. Small thing, but I'm proud of it. We went to check how our new trees are going and we found out that there are a lot of caterpillars eating them, eating the leaves. Yeah. So we have to pick them up, throw them away. We already did it yesterday and two days ago. And there are immediately new ones. Who would have thought I would be okay with having a caterpillar on my hand? I'm scared of insect. But it looks cute. Too bad I have to kill it. No, they're not gonna eat our trees. We will save them. Uh, the grass in the, in the field is getting very tall, as you can see. And our little trees that we planted are getting lost in it. So uh, we're trying to at least pull some of the grass around it, pull it out. And uh, yeah, we don't really have a, a mower, a big mower that we could use for the field. But our lovely neighbor said that he will take care of it, which is really nice of him. Honey, do you think it's impossible to find? I don't know what we were thinking. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't think it through, definitely. <laughs> because it's impossible when uh, the clover is so tall. It makes sounds all the time, so... No, we're not gonna find it. These are the first things that we planted uh, at the end of last year. So we have uh, onion here and garlic here. And then you can see that we have some spinach. I planted it in the whole bed, but uh, these are the only plants that took. So we are going to harvest that today before we leave. Then I planted corn salad and... Nothing came out of it. And leek. But, yeah, they didn't take yet. <laughs> I guess I planted them too early, when it was still cold. But, last month I planted dill, and it's really growing nicely. I think I'm gonna try uh, planting corn salad and uh, leek again, next time we're here. See if the second attempt is successful. I have put this almond tree into water. It was there for more than 36 hours. Uh, my mom recommended this method to me because it was almost dead, or it is dead, but this is the last resort to try to salvage it. Uh, it should awaken if there is any life left in there. So we're gonna put it into soil again and hope for the best. if the tree is going to come back to life. It's time to go back to the city. We have to return the metal detector today. It was basically a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, we didn't find the ring and we realized that it was much harder to, to use it. It wasn't just a matter of going with it randomly. I think we were totally naive thinking that we would find it easily. 
Yeah, basically we thought the metal detector was more advanced. <laughs> yeah, it's like a toy. It isn't advanced at all. Always interfering with everything and it's so hard. Do you think we're gonna borrow it again? No, I don't think so. Because if we kept borrowing it, it would uh, cost more than having the actual ring made. Uh, we didn't tell you, these rings, they are made by a local jeweler. Uh, they are made from palladium and they have little wine leaves engraved into the ring because we wanted them to have a nature theme. And I checked and this local jeweler is still in business. So I think in time we'll have a new ring made for Tommy. Yeah. If we do that, I would like I would like it to be a little bit smaller, <laughs> so it doesn't so it fits better to my yeah. finger, to my tiny skinny finger. Oh well, oh well. So a total failure <laughs> this weekend with the ring. But it was a new, interesting experience at least. We know how it works now. It's not possible to find anything. <laughs> <laughs> I found a little pin, <laughs> size of a coin. I thought it would, it would be first some historical coin. Sadly, it isn't. Um, <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, but we also did some useful things on the property. Mm -hmm. And now we have to go back to the city because we have to return the metal detector. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually the only reason why we're going back. Yes, because Peter has the whole week off, but we'll be back in a few days. Yeah, and Peter made a mint tea. We have mint growing on our property yeah. at random places. Yeah, there's quite a lot of it, right? Mm -hmm. And it's delicious. Delicious tea. Anyway, if you liked this video, subscribe to our channel to support us, and see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.